One of the tragic realities of life in the 21st century is that terror can strike at any time, anywhere. New York, 9-11. The London subway system or on a double-decker bus. A Spanish train, Glasgow airport. The common denominator in all these targets is that they are symbols of a Western way of life now under siege. But if this sequence of recent terror attacks has sent shockwaves throughout the Western nations, it is all too familiar to Israelis, and for much longer. We're standing just above the port city of Alat, Israel's resort playground. With all of the tension that exists in the Middle East, this is a place of escape for ordinary Israelis that can come here for a weekend, for a few days, and try to forget the tension that goes on all around them. And yet this place is itself in a very sensitive neighborhood. Just beyond the hotels, you see the Kingdom of Jordan. And in the Kingdom of Jordan, the mountains of Edom. To the west is the nation of Egypt. So Israel finds herself sandwiched between Egypt on the west side and the Kingdom of Jordan on the east side. This is a playground, but it is in a very sensitive, even at times dangerous, neighborhood. While this close proximity to Arab neighbors requires constant vigilance on the part of Israeli security officials, Alat has, until recently, enjoyed a reputation as a sea of tranquility in an otherwise stormy Middle East. This resort gem on the Red Sea was the one place in Israel to which ordinary Israelis and tourists from many nations could come to soak up the sun and escape, if only for a short time, the madness of life in the 21st century. As bathers stretched out under warm sun, their only concern was the risk of sunburn, that is, until one fateful morning in early 2007. <laughs> 